Hey guys, Skiri here, and we're back. We're back on Grounded. Well, we never really left, but we're back in the YouTube sense of things. And we're going to do a home tour. As you can see, if you haven't seen my stream, my house has changed since my last video. It's quite extensive now. This is what we've been working on during our streams. Just building up some amazing amount of stuff we don't need just for bragging rights so we sort of moved from one small area to extend it out put a couple of houses a few watchtowers a food area we will go through to a in the morning but to let you guys know grounded is back it is fixed so if you guys want to get into that I strongly advise it it's not like it was where you had a few little things messing around it is the cleanest I've ever seen it it's the smoothest I've ever seen it and it's definitely definitely worth a go with the new additions so if you guys were interested in grounded before didn't like it for the glitches and the bugs they're all gone more or less and it is definitely definitely worth Another go, another run, definitely. So I did think of starting at night time to show you what this place looks like at night, because I absolutely love. I love the ambience of the lights. Like how cool is that? I did plant next to a stink bug nest. Don't know why. I think it was more the clear, clear area where no grass will grow on my base. We will head down. This is the trophy room. I got a real set sort of thing this is in hard mode too so these trophies do mean a bit that we've earned them instead of just going in easy and having everything given to us so we got the B armor you know everyone has that we've been getting into the spinning wheels we're not quite at the level we need to be to build what are they called? Zip lines. But we're we're getting ready for it. We're at eight thousand five hundred research. Or science. Science. So that is what we are working towards at this present time. I don't know why I moved to different ones for I do like the design of these things. It's pretty cool. Like how cool is that? The buildings and the building in general the design is pretty pretty cool so we got them running most of the day just getting ready for it I do have spikes because during one of the the times in grounders life where the ants had an infinite spawn the anthill is just here you can see through there so we had a lot of ants and we still do have some ants come through so i built spike traps around the base just to keep them away they still try to get in and get around a bit but it's just stopped the constant annoyance of the lawn so first of all we have our towers sort of look out survey the land there they're cosmetic, that's purely cosmetic. This here is Jaeger's idea. Half bent. So he hasn't finished it. But you put chests in here and that's unlimited storage. One of the soldier ants coming after me. Here is our farm. We will head to bed before I show you the whole place. But basically we've got enough water for four players to grind through. We sort of kept the mushroom gardens just for the simple fact we need 150 Pokemon. We've got plenty of water here. We've been carrying bottles around since the update because water and food is a lot harder to keep up with. Since the update in hard, you've got to sort of take a bit of food with you. Um, that was put there just because. No real reason. We are still building a bed. We've got one bed. But we will have a sleep. Anyone else tired? Just me? 
Alright. So that is the bunkhouse. Needs more beds in it, but we're slowly getting there. This is, I guess, our warehouse. It's empty as fuck right now. Because I can't be bothered going and getting all the stuff that I used out of it. Good idea is to do this. This is Jaeger's trick too. Just grab something to hold the planks up. Build across, and you can build pallet racking. Pretty cool. So I'll grab some water. That's not so bad. So I find jerky is the go. That'll just about fill you up. Jerky racks are the shit. They are harder to build. You need bombardiers. But killing aphids and gnats is the absolute go. Like 10 pieces of that aphid stuff. You can get grubs. Grubs are the easy way to get food. And the jerky is the absolute go. Acorn bits are still viable. But if you're at that point in the game, jerky is definitely the go. So I have labelled all these chests to what is in them. Spiders. Miscellaneous. That's just green bugs. Ants. Just so we do have the ability to find shit. Rock. Alrighty, so that is pretty much the main fortress. We have set up over here, we did for a long time. And this is a lot of hard work, by my son mainly. I saw these palisade gates, so... Dad, 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 let's go play ground ahead. I'd cut him down, he'd bring him back and forth. We're going to go check out the secondary, which is something we've recently done. And it's more of a, a scheme than an actual plan. It's just like, yeah, okay, let's do this now. We were running back and forth through areas, just back and forth to the house. And thought, well, why not make a halfway point? And so we went, well, let's make something pretty extravagant. It's only half done. It's not finished. It probably will never be finished because it was like one of those streams where we built up and went, okay, let's go do something else now. So we go through here. We've put it at the tree. So we've tried to pick locations where we always need to go. We're constantly heading over to Burgle. And it's an ant. Acorns, everything is always needed. I'm wondering if we can see it from here. It's nothing amazing. I know I'm building it up to be something fantastic. It's truly not. I enjoy it. But... So there's always an ample stock of everything over here. So we are looking to move over here so as you can see we are building around the tree that looks so cool with the sun going through it I'm trying to build around and up so there's lots and lots of stuff here that we can always pick from so I like to pick spots where we can get resources one thing we do do in stream is I have channel points so based on following how long you've been watching you get points and you can redeem builds build ideas one of my followers come up with an idea of build a big P so me and my brother build a big P it's pretty cool I'm quite proud of it That's the end of that story. So up here... Now the main reason this is half built is because it takes a long time to walk up here. Down there on the water we will go see a brother built something. And I know he's quite proud of it. And to be honest, I'm quite proud of it. So we've got more water. Always need water. We will get to jerky racks probably up here. But we have that much food back at home, and with the acorns below, I don't see the point of it apart from, you know, 150 Pokemon. So this thing is mainly looking to be cosmetic 
and wow look we can look out over the whole whole yard and I thought what's the better way to do that than this now that looks like that hedge looks so much like the old you know Nintendo 64 games <laughs> Here's a room I'm quite proud of, this dining room. We have a table set for a big feast. I'm hoping cosmetics come through where I can put food on this table. Which will be cool, and I'm stuck on a chair. This is my favourite part. Little balcony. This looks cool. Quite proud of this. And this is the sort of stuff we will be looking towards as we go higher into the tree. So I have only got, due to the simple fact I have to walk all the way back down to pick up fucking grass. We're going to move around the tree, possibly run zip lines off this. So we're grinding towards zip lines and we're going to try and run them down at points just to have some fun with it. Do the old Swiss Family Robinson. But I do love this view. So our next destination of building is probably the hedge. We will probably build something around the bird bath. Jaeger has started. He started a trampoline thing where you, you jump up through a tower of trampolines and make it all the way to the top of the bird bath to collect the berries. He's just one of those guys who does these simple little things that make our life easier when we hoard stuff. We will go down lastly and see Pogs, or Shouting End, his creation. He does do a yet let's play, a yet's play, a let's play on his channel, which I will link in the description if you want to go see his stuff. He's a little more creative than I am. This is pretty cool. I'm a bit of a torch fan, so it needs torches just for ambience. These are the things we are building in here that we will be getting lots of. So, I am in love with the buildings in this game. The way they come up looks pretty amazing. There's a big P. I could line that root up. I could make a word. But that's it guys. I thought I'd give you a grand tour on a catch up from what we're doing from the couple episodes I've put up of Let's Play. I will be trying to move through to this game if you guys so wish I will be looking at that trying to find more things to do is more the point like hit this fucking thing and not so much to do so much to do that is amusing because me just bringing sticks to a place is is an and that's pretty I'm loving the aphids right now they just um sit still for you anyway guys that is it we do stream grounded through the week and we do this is our main server so we will always be working on this place building more things grinding up more stuff i'm hoping to get zip lines this week and get into that having some fun run zip lines everywhere we do have to hunt the shit out of spiders because you know spider webs yeah there's a hundred but thanks guys for hanging out, I appreciate it a ton. Let me know if you do have any build ideas which you just want to see. You just don't have to redeem channel points in here, so... If you have any build ideas or anything you'd like to see, I'll definitely consider each and every one of them, if not do them all. Cheers guys for hanging out, I appreciate it. Don't forget to drop a comment. The more comments you drop down the bottom, the more YouTube will recommend my video, and you guys will actually start seeing things instead of... It being hidden away and magically three weeks later everyone notices I drop a video. So make sure you comment, even if it's just to say hi, I will reply to every comment. And yeah, that's about it. I'm done hoarding comments. Cheers guys.